Well, good morning, everybody. Game time, Brian, otherwise known as the mailman. Good morning, everybody. Rise and grind on this nice, beautiful April 15th. Okay, I don't know why I thought it was later than that. April 15th morning on the way to work. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to work. And, um, you know, what I will say is I got five days of work left before the NFL draft. And I was just thinking, I'm sitting there yesterday live streaming saying, wow, in two weeks it'll all be over. <laughs> I'll be back home. So it's like we look forward to things, but it's here and gone in a heartbeat, which is why everybody should just enjoy each day because... You know, the older you get, the more days are behind you that are in front of you type of deal. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to be morbid, but it's true. Let's enjoy the day. What will today bring? Will I be chased by a dog delivering mail today? Possibly. Not likely, since I know all the dogs. But there's sometimes you come across a dog who's out of its own territory. Who wants to tear into your ass. So, uh, just, just, you know, just real quick here. Happy Easter. Love you, hon. Happy Easter. Burning through the cups. Everybody goes, why do you use it? Well, I need to use it now. I can't use my mugs because I'm going to burn through the cups. Mmm. Uh, that's the best cup of coffee I've ever had. <laughs> no. Not really. Not really Sarasota, Tim. Um, but anyway, we are, you know, what's today, Monday? I'm off tomorrow. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then uh, that's it, baby. I'm off until Tuesday after the draft. Get the rental car, head up to Mark's, head to Detroit Rock City to watch the Cowboys select. Wouldn't that be funny if it was Tyler Guyton, my original pick, my first pick? You know, I've I've circled the uh, I've circled the wagons. You know, I listen to too much outside noise. You know, they're throwing little smoke screens out. Ooh, Tyler wants to stay at guard. Ooh, we could move Tyler out to left tackle. Ooh, the Cowboys are hunting centers. Well, if that's the case, then who's gonna play left tackle? Dallas wants one of them tackles to drop to. Okay. Mims is there. They're going to draft him and put him a left tackle, my opinion. Um, if Troy Fountano, Fautano, however you want to say it, if he's there, he ain't going to be there, people. He's top 15. Where are my sunglasses at? Oh. He top 15, peeps. He top 15, in my opinion. I did do a mock draft yesterday. Ah, yes. It's going to be close to close to 80 today. I got my shorts on. I got my short sleeve shirt on underneath this. A real light jacket. There we go. Um, these are beat up though. I got a new pair. I gotta, I'm gonna break out. But um, I bought, I've had these since before I went to Texas with Mark. These are the same ones. But they're all scratchy. But they're good for uh, beating up. Leaving in my mail bag. But uh, yeah, so in a perfect world, they take a left tackle. Brock Kaufman, and then they maybe they draft a center late in the draft. That's what I'm thinking. If I had to guess, that's that's what they're going to do. So um, that's kind of how I'm looking at it. Um, they're not going to go defense, people. I know people. Oh, we could use edge rusher. Okay, then unless this free agent market after the draft is going to be so big which it might be maybe they're really going in you know i watched jacob sports again i watched a clip of dan cilio and um dave wants that who is uh going to be in chicago the ex-coach of the bears ex defensive coordinator under Jimmy Johnson he talked to Jimmy and he also confirmed that Jimmy Johnson is working with the Cowboys please please can I get a picture of Jimmy Johnson 
Can I please get a picture of Jimmy in, in the Cowboys war room? Or even if he zoomed in, oh, that would be beautiful. Now, that would be beautiful. Because then I know there's going to be a couple players on the board that they would take. But they are trying to bail. And bail they will do. Uh, which means trade down. You know I want more picks in the 40s, 50s, 60s. 70s, 80s, and 90s. Those are where you want your picks. If I'm hunting five top 100 players. Five. I don't care that our first player is not taken until 46, for crying out loud. I'm fine. Give me five of them. Utah. Give me two. What movie? Utah. Give me two. Let me know in the comments what movie that's from. Here. I'll give you one more movie line. I am an FBI agent. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where that one came from, but same movie. But, um, so, I'm going to have my lollipops on hand so I can throw them at Mark when something, you, all of a sudden you see this star. I told Phil, I said, wouldn't it be interesting if we saw the star logo pop up on the big stage at the draft? Dallas Cowboys are now on the clock like somewhere in the teens the only way that's happening is if we're trading somebody <laughs> so I I hope I don't see that if it's Dak then that would have to be the third overall that, that would have to be the Raiders probably probably it'd be the Raiders but uh, we'll see about that it, it's rumored that Six, I did the mock draft, people. I think six quarterbacks are going before the Dallas and the Eagles pick. Guess what? It helps out the Eagles more than Dallas. Why? Because they picked two picks ahead of us. Eagles are going to get a hell of a player at 22. And, you know, if they're smart, they'll go defense. I keep hearing offensive line. Yeah. Sorry, people. Sorry. If Jared Verse is there, Terry and Arnold's there. Uh, Latu, I don't know if he fits, but you're going to a 3-4. Leatu, Latu, yeah, yeah, that would be nice. Um, there could be a lot of, play, you know, Kenyon Mitchell. I don't know, Byron Murphy. Byron Murphy, could you imagine Byron Murphy? Now nah, they wouldn't take Byron Murphy. Not with Jordan Davis, the stud in, you know, at the at center. But would we take Byron Murphy? He's one of those guys. I think Byron Murphy's going to the Rams to slide in where Aaron Donald in and put all the pressure of Aaron Donald's shadow over, looming over him. I don't know if that would be good for Byron Murphy. I really don't. But um, yeah, just look, just looking forward to the draft. I have all my, uh, I downloaded the Beast, the Dane Brugler Beast. Shout out to you, Dane Brugler. Uh, you are the man. I downloaded this top 100, and I downloaded most of the positional groups. I didn't download special teams, or I don't think Dallas is going to take the tight ends, but I downloaded it. So, you know, I'll bring that with me to the draft. I'll be able to make an educated guess of what is going to happen and where they're going to be taken. But again, he's about as close as you're going to get to an NFL draft board. Dane Brugler, the Beast, is sitting on a lot of draft boards. Or in, the Beast is sitting on a lot of tables in uh, draft rooms all across the NFL. Why? Because Dane Brugler, Phil, has put in the work. Phil don't like Dane Brugler. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what it is. Dane, handsome man, family man. What is it? What is it, Phil? What is it that Dane does to you? I don't know. Is it jealousy? Are you jealous of Dane, Phil? <laughs> you want to break balls? Let's break balls. Make that logo. Anyway, um, inside joke there, people. Make that logo. Slip snap. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, man, you're going to get me for that one. I want to get punched in the gut for that one. But, um, anywho, uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to the draft. What would Dallas do? I don't, I don't know that any, I think Tyler Guyton would have to be 
his card would have to be moved to go over Powers Johnson, unless they're sliding Powers Johnson down. But I still can't for the life of me, and please leave in the comments, if we take Powers Johnson, if we take Zach Fraser, and we don't take a left tackle early, who's playing left tackle? You can't take a left tackle in the third or fourth round and expect him to start, right? We need all this defensive line help, linebacker help. You can't, you know, I've done many mocks where my first three picks were the best players on the board for me, and they were all offensive players. This is what I'm talking about. Are we going to window dress our draft board? That's the title of the video. Is the Cowboys going to window dress their damn draft board? I had us trading out of the first or drafting in the first. Do whatever you want. Most of the time, I traded out of the first and ended up with Zach Frazier. I did have Edger and Cooper a couple times, but just because of the, the center, I like the centers. There's a lot of centers I like. Not a lot. Probably the same amount of linebackers. Who am I kidding? But, um, so if we trade out of the first, and we take, or, or if we take Jackson Powers Johnson one, okay, and then what if we're sitting there and Trey Benson's there? Okay, that's a possibility too. Okay, and then... What if you're sitting there or you traded and you got a pick in the 60s or 70s, right? Because you've traded down and you got whoever you want. We've gotten, you know, then you could be looking at an offensive tackle or a wide receiver. That might be the highest player on your board over said linebacker that you that you have a bunch. After the first couple, there's a bunch that are grouped together. I can't wait for the draft. Not to see any particular player because we're always going to be let down. The Cowboys Nation, we will be let down with things that happen in the draft. Not since the Diggs draft have we come out of the draft so excited. And it was a hell of a draft. But that draft, somebody fell to us. It took Trayvon Diggs, who they were contemplating taking at first because they were in the first round because they were wiped out, to still be there in the second. That doesn't happen often. And look at and look what happened. There's a reason for it. Diggs is now signed the mega deal and he's a hell of a player. So that's not likely. So we're probably gonna be let down a little bit. But you know me. I will always defer to Will McClay. When the draft is over, um when the draft is over. I'm going to I'm going to pay deference to them. At least I know we're not taking a tight end again like in the second round. They probably shouldn't go. So, but anyway, that's it for me everybody. I am out of here. Um I'm at work. Monday Monday blues everybody. Monday blues. I will talk to everybody on my 2 o'clock lunchtime chat live from the mail truck. The mailman is out. They,